यूएस क्रूड फाइनली हैज अचीव्ड आर वीकली टारगेट अबो एटी लेवल्स एटी पॉइंट फोर लेवल्स वी डिस्कस इज द ग्रेट रेजिस्टेंस एंड दिस वी हैव बीन एमिंग सिंस लॉन्ग नाउ सिंस लास्ट वीक सिंस सेवेंटी डॉलर लेवल्स आई हैव बीन टेलिंग यू टू बाय क्रूड ऑयल वी आर गोइंग टू लुक फॉर टू राइज आई होप यू ऑल प्रॉफिटेड देयर एट द सेम टाइम नेचुरल गैस ऑन द डाउन साइड हैज गॉट वेरी गुड सपोर्ट एंड नाउ ट्रेडिंग विद दैट सपोर्ट एंड ट्राइंग टू रीट इट इज कम बैक टिल टू अवर्स अबाउट टू पॉइंट सिक्स लेवल्स सो वॉट टू एक्सपेक्ट टू डे विद द यू एस सेशन टू द यूरोप सेशन एंड द एशिया सेशन बिफोर आई कम अप विद माई नेक्स्ट एनालिसिस बिफोर द यू एस सेशन विच पोजिशन यू शुड टेक टिल देन वी विल सी विद द हेल्प ऑफ चार्ट एंड इंडिकेटर फर्स्ट यू लुक इन टू यू एस क्रूड फॉलोड विद नेचुरल गैस डू वॉच टिल दी एंड You can remain updated uh, with the live market updates by joining my free Telegram channel. The link is mentioned in the channel and video description. And before leaving the video, it's a humble request to press the like button, do share, subscribe, and comment. That's always been a great motivation to me. Let's start on the hourly charts. If you look at oil, see these three peaks here, suggest higher highs and the bullishness, and see these lows here, suggest lower lows and still uh, higher lows and still the bullishness continuing here you can see this so now it has to break below 79 dollars in order to confirm that there is slight bearishness where one can still expect 78.5 now only and only if 78.5 is breached you can say that oil is trying to trade bearish else it has got all the bullishness intact now if you look closely on the early charts it is still consolidating above 79.8 levels again we can see or expect a further rise see uh, once again as we had discussed 79.8 80.4 zone is a good resistance zone beyond if it stays above 80.4 any candle closing above 80.4 we can expect this time we are going to look at 81 and 82 zone yes these are still achievable stock is still looking down macd is trying to trade with divergence and bearishness rsi looking down here coming to 2 hour chart on the 2 hour charts also similar observation price taking the support from the 20 period moving average a sell and tick can be taken if you see trading below 79 dollars in fact those who wants to make a little uh, make from the little move you can sell at 79.2 expect 79 78.8 and 78.5 remember only and only if you see oil trading below 78.5 you can expect the bearishness there a stock has tick dropped here macd trading with divergence in bearishness rsi looking down here so uh, on the time frames 1h and 2h there is still a little bearishness which it is suggesting Look at the three hour chart. See one red candle. It is trying to trade in this. I will wait for it to break past seventy nine point two and seventy nine, and then there will be slight further bearishness, which can be expected. It is still giving this bullish flag, and a breakout is going to be further strong. Stock is still looking down. MACD divergent and bearish looking down here. RSI is also indicating slight bearishness. Coming to four hour charts, and the four hour charts also lower highs are seen. and with that it is trying to pull down i will wait for 79.2 below which you can sell for 79 78.8 78.5 any drop below 78.5 will call for the bears the stock has tick has dropped macd divergent and bearish now see macd has formed a twin top here now trying to give the same uh, reversal so possibly we can see a little bearishness from here rsi over was overbought it has come out of the overbought zone coming to the daily charts Now see on the daily charts we have discussed several times that this was the break a consolidation and this was the breakout here at seventy two and since then we have been trading with the bullish bias. Now how beautifully oil has achieved higher highs, and there is further momentum for it to continue with the upward move. But look at the divergence on the moving average. This is bullish sign that fifty eight hundred also crossing over. This is still a bullish sign for the near future, which. probably next month might aim for 85 and 92 levels but for now if you look at yes it is trading bullish yes it is trading with the divergence from the moving average which possibly calls for a conversion you can see a rise you can see a retracement you can see a rise you can see a retracement now also if you look at the candle yesterday was of indecision and this was possibly of a reversal sign now reversal sign means a possible retracement can be expected in crude here yes there is support till 79 below which there is going to be you can see symmetry so possibly it may try to come back till towards 78.6 78.5 levels first candle here then second candle may try to cover till towards 77 
and then it will try to achieve the moving average before looking upward. So there is still bearishness possibility exists that we can see. However, remember it's a swing candle here. So uh, till the time the lows of the previous candle or rather I will say 78.5 are not breached, we should not treat this as bearish and it could still swing back because see markets are there to eat. If it were so easy, the moves are so easy, possibly nobody will lose here because see uh, if I can predict you can also predict however uh, till 78.5 we should not treat this as bearish this should still try to remain in zone but yes i will be expecting it to reverse from here and possibly give couple or more bearish candles from here so you can take a sell at 79.2 expect 79 78.8 very very good support then 78.5 any drop below 78.5 will call for the bears hence take your positions accordingly a buy entry only i will recommend at 79.8 but then till 80.4 levels you have to put the stop loss at your cost price and book any profits which you are seeing at 80.80.4 .80 above 80.5 sky is the limit on the upside we are going to look at 81 82 levels take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss now let's have a look at natural gas and before we proceed if you want to learn this art of trading you should join my mentorship batch 24th batch is going to start on first week of august only limited seats are available register yourself now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description with that now let's start with natural gas now see natural gas here as we discussed in our analysis yesterday 2.55 levels have proven out to be a good support any breach below 2.65 was a bearish call now what it is trying to do drop retrace drop retrace so it is still trading bearish here till the time it now stays below 2.65 i will not recommend you to buy and if you are buying at 2.65 remember 2.7 is the level beyond which only we should trade this as bullish see here prices are too much divergent from the 20 period moving average we have seen it converging here if it stays above this zone we can look forward to 2.65 levels so possibly beyond 2.62 2.2 uh, 60 zone you can expect 2.6566 zone the next resistance here and yes if it breaks past this zone you can see this for a reversal that is 2.68 2.7 levels a stock i stick comfortable MACD crossing over for a buy and it is trading with divergence and bullishness rsi has come out of the oversold zone trading comfortable right now on the two hour charts likewise see uh you can find that support is created at 2.6 with that as support it is trying to rise possibly we are looking at 2.65 2.68 zone which is going to remain definitely a good resistance a reversal confirmation about 2.7 is to be seen a stock stick rising MACD willing to converge crossover for a buy entry here you can see this possibly this convergence this crossover may bring little bullishness RSI coming out of the oversold zone and coming to 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts likewise See, this is the resistance which you should watch out for, 2.6568. And uh, yes, uh, till the time it respects 2.6, possibility of a rise will remain high. A stock I stick rising here, the MACD, trying to converge, willing to converge crossover for a buy entry, RSI is flat. Coming to 4 R charts, on the 4 R charts likewise, first bearish candle consolidation, second bearish candle consolidation or retracement. So yes, it is trading bearish, but a little retracement is what one can expect. A stock elastic flat, MACD is bearish here and see it is, it is completed first wave, second wave and it is completed this wave here. Now possibly from here it should try to reverse again. RSI at bottom coming to the daily charts. Now look at daily charts. See first of all the reversal was seen from these levels 2.53 and hence this should not be breached. This is very important till the time it respects 2.5352 levels one should not trade this as bearish. At the same time it is trying to trade in this box the highs at around 2.76 and the lows right now at around 2.5253. Now you can also see with that as reversal it is seen the rise resistance was very very high there. We have discussed this in our analysis that it is trying to form symmetry we can expect a second bearish candle yesterday. It has given this candle and if you look at now see the body size was almost half this complete half of this complete move you can see 2.7 to 2.61 and then 2.55 so almost greater than half of this so still there is bearishness so even if it tries to drop first of all a sell entry is only below 2.6 even if you are taking a sell entry this has to be done with caution till 2.55 2.5 
uh, three levels we should not treat natural gases bearish remember this on the upside you can buy here at 2.625 levels where you can expect 2.6566 as the first resistance zone and then 2.68 2.7 as the next resistance zone beyond if it stays over 2.7 that is the time when you should trade this as reversal else it is going to trade very much in range possibly we might see a muted movement between 2.6 2.68 levels so take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss join my mentorship batch join my signals channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you